Hi, this is Dr. Gary and welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. This time of year promotes loneliness for some reason. A lot of it is between people's ears. If you're one of those people that feel lonely this time of year, it's usually in the way you're viewing the Christmas season, people being together. It appears as you stand back and look at everyone that everything's going perfectly for them. However, you're standing there by yourself, even if you have a family. I know women right now that are shopping and they feel like no one's shopping for them or no one cares about them, that they have to fix it all up for everyone else. I know men right now that I'm talking to that are saying they hate this time of year because the way the economy is right now, they can't make money fast enough to provide what everyone thinks is going to make a Merry Christmas. Listen, this Christmas season is an opportunity for you to rise above all of that and take the high road and understand the most important thing about right now is that you recognize the blessings in your life. Now, I've been talking about that for weeks now. Because I know what comes this time of year. I used to be one of those people that felt lonely. My family's all grown up now and I'm just this old guy here by himself. Well, that's not true. I literally have thousands of people around me all the time if I reach out to them. In fact, you're part of my family, those of you who watch this. And by the way, I appreciate the feedback you give me. The tune-up yesterday obviously struck a lot of hearts because I received a lot of emails each of you saying you thought that was specifically for you. I appreciate that. And it is just for you. When we hear these tune-ups, we recognize sometimes that there's things inside of us that we didn't even realize was there. This time of year, there's no reason to be lonely. Right now, reach out to someone. And if you're in your family and you're having some difficulty in your relationship, Maybe you're married and something's not really going right between you and the person that you love. Allow that to happen because most likely there's going to be growth in the horizon for both of you. Things going smooth all the time only mean usually one thing. We're resting on our laurels. We're not growing at all. And we're not paving new ground. When things are a little rocky, a little rough, and this time of year brings that out in people, it means we're stretching and growing. And over the past year, we've grown a little bit. We've become a little more enlightened, possibly. We recognize things about ourselves that we hadn't recognized before. So when we come into the same season triggered by the same things, we start feeling a little bit differently each year. And sometimes it feels like it gets a little stronger each year. All you have to do today is to allow this season to be this season. Approach each day as though it's just unique and treat each day as just a day, not a whole season. And do what you can do today to make this a good day, not an extraordinary day, a good day. And do something nice for yourself. One of the reasons we feel lonely this time of year is we're doing so much for everyone else. And a lot of times we're not seeing what people actually are doing for us. And when people do things for us and it doesn't match our complex equivalency or our belief of what we do for other people and that's what's right, we miss the opportunities to really be thankful and grateful for those nice things people are doing for us. And sometimes it's as simple as someone prays for you, thinks about you with admiration without calling you on the phone and saying they're doing it at that moment. How silly would that be? You just don't know how important you are. So accept the fact each one of us have a purpose here. Your purpose is being met each day by you putting a smile on your face and going one more day with an opportunity to make changes in this world. And believe me, each one of us are required for that to happen. So until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary holiday season in spite of yourself. Until then, bye-bye.